About half a mile. There's someone on it. Sir? Oh, that thing ain't been held together by love and sunshine. Uh, bring it down half, wash your wash. Any sign of life? Not yet. It's a woman, Swayo. Ma'am? Ma'am? Dad, that'll take the weight of any of us. There's only one way to find out. Miss? Miss? Ma'am? Miss, can you hear me? Miss? Ma'am, don't talk. We're the Australian Navy, okay? You're very safe. I'm just gonna try and get you to stand up. I need to get you on that rib, okay? I need to try and get you up, ma'am. Oh, thank God. Ma'am? Frank. Ma <laughs> what? Oh, what the hell is this? Miss, it's the Australian Navy, okay? You're safe? Just hold on, you'll be fine. Inspired. Yeah, all secure this end, but She certainly has some survival skills. Check out these lashings. She's also got the luck of the Irish. Not a few hours, she'd have been shark feed. Yeah, well, where did she come from? That's the question. I guess we'll find that out when she wakes up. You reckon Swain will be ready for her this time? Yeah, that's why he smells like cologne all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, to Swain. <laughs> There have been no recent reports of anyone missing at sea in this vicinity. No adventurers, no yachtings, nothing. Okay, thanks, ma'am. Uh, well, she's awake. Her name's Belinda Lloyd. She's got no ID, no passport, nothing. So she left it on an island. What island? Didn't say. Right. She was camped on the island when she and her husband were kidnapped. Frank. Who's Frank? My husband, I thought I... Oh, he's still on the boat. What boat? It belongs to the men who attacked us. We have to find well, him. Just calm down, Belinda. Start from the beginning. Why, why are you kayaking? It was going to be our big adventure. Oh, please, God, he's still alive. What happened? It was dark. We didn't see them coming. And they attacked us, I don't know why. They had guns and they dragged us on board their boat. Frank kept on saying, there's been some mistake, you have to believe us, but they wouldn't listen. And then he grabbed me and he pushed me overboard and he dived in after me, bullets in the water, and I just kept swimming as hard as I could, but they dragged him on board their boat. Okay, okay, Belinda, can you describe these men or their boat? There were huge coils of pipe on the deck and men with guns. They must have been pirates. How, how many men? Not sure. What nationality were they? Australian. They were definitely Australian. You're sure? Positive. I heard them yelling. Belinda, the oil rigs are a security zone. There are no pirates in these waters. You have to find Frank. We have to save him. We'll start a search for your husband. I'll try and get some rest. Okay, see if a name turns up anywhere. AFP, customs, someone must have a record of her. Yes, sir. And while you're at it, run a check, see if there's been any reports of piracy in the area. <laughs> okay. She's nuts! Hey, keep it down. What? Australian pirates attacking a couple of kayakers. Get real! Yeah, we don't need her freaking out because she overhears your big mouth. What's this? Poached fish and salad. Excellent. Don't want poached fish and salad, but steak and chips. Charge. Can't I at least just have some chips? Give him some chips, Bomb. I can't hurt. Oi! Uh, 
No chip. I'll have a light lunch tomorrow. Well, that's a given anyway. You know that if your BMI hits 35, that you're considered unfit to sail. Wow. I'm big boned. Judge. Oh, come. I, I'm not overweight. Some eggs. Chips. I just. I'm. I'm too short. I just have to grow another foot. Oh, well, when you work out how to do that, you let me know. Okay, I'm working on it. <laughs> so, mate, you gonna pay up now or what? What's the stakes? Fifty bucks. That'd lose how much? Ten kegs. Ouch. What about you, bomber? You went in on the action? Huh? Uh, do I look like an idiot? Bye, fun. Only chance he's got. Surgery. Yeah, that's exactly what you'll be needing, mate. So-called adventurers who get themselves in harm's way should be made to get themselves out of harm's way. At the very least, they should have to pay the expense of the rescue. So I can do stupid things in the future. Robert. Sorry about that. There's not a whole lot of tact on a warship, I'm afraid. We weren't stupid. Our preparation was meticulous. Safety was paramount. Fair enough. It wasn't for those pirates. You don't believe me. I believe you believe. If I could get back to the island, I could prove it. Okay. What island? I don't know, but I've got proof there. What kind of proof? Photos. I've got photographs. Do you feel up to having something to eat? Smells good, but I really need to go to the loo. Okay, I'll tell you where the heads are. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. You okay? Oh, sorry. That's all right. Not as steady as I thought. Just sit there, I'll get someone to give you a hand, okay? Ah, Matt, mm. could you do us a favour? Could you give Belinda a hand to the head? She's still a bit wobbly on yeah. the feet. Lean on me if you have to know. Judge, report to the bridge. Oh, my God. What? I know that man. Yeah, that's Swain. He's been taking care of you. No, no, the other one. What? He was on the pirate boat. He was one of them. So now she's claiming E.T. is one of the pirates. And she said this to Nav. Mm-hmm. I mean, Nav, to a credit, took it pretty well, but Mrs Lloyd's clearly suffering from some delusions. Well, this whole pirate story is probably one of them. Mm. Well, she says she's got photos, but she left them on an island, and once again, she can't say which one. Ah, oh, it's all pretty vague. Let's just get her back to port where she can get the help she needs. Let Coast Watch continue the search for her husband. Have you got something to calm her down? Ah, uh, yeah. Nav, she thought Swain was her husband. Yeah, I know. She's probably suffering some sort of post-traumatic Stress thingy, you know. She seems so certain. Her being certain doesn't make it true. Yeah. And as for her pirate story, that sounds like a bad Steven Seagal film. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a bad Steven Seagal film. Yeah, I rest my case. <laughs> Look, I know it must hurt having her talk about E.T. like that, but you cannot let it get to you. Now eat your scran. <laughs> I will. I've got some laundry to do. I'll catch you later. Mind if I come in? No. It's good that you can eat something. Yeah. I need to build my strength up. Who knows what's ahead? Frank might need me. Belinda, the man you think you identified in the photograph? It was him. No mistake. It couldn't have been. Why not? People can be bought. Plenty of cops go bad. Navy can too. You know, just because you wear a uniform doesn't set you above temptation. No, no, no. no, I, I'm, no I'm not saying that. I, it's just you didn't know him. He was such a good person. He would have never, ever been involved in anything illegal. Mm. You would say that, wouldn't you? 
Meaning trying to protect your own. You're sure it's him? Yes. Okay, when did you see him? Give me a time. When? About three weeks ago. Wrong. Give or take a few days. He's been dead for three months. Oh, you're lying. I wish to God I was. I saw his body. You're mistaken. No, I'm not. He was a diver. I saw him. Someone told you that. What? That he was a diver. Oh, he was, wasn't he? That proves it. It doesn't prove anything. He was dead. There never was a boat with any pirates. And you never, you never saw E.T. No. It was him. I know it was. Linda. Three months. Could it have been three months? Frank. Linda, I want you to take this. What is it? sedative it's very mild but it'll help you sleep we're still looking for frank aren't we like the captain promised no we're taking you home what you the... need medical treatment no i don't listen there's no point arguing about this okay a proper search will be conducted but right now i need you to take this and get some rest believe me it's for your own good let it go. Just had to ask for a few questions. How'd that go? <laughs> I ended up doing my block and screaming at her. That sounds like something I'd do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She knew he was a diver. How did she know that? She heard someone mention it. She said she didn't. Well, she must have. If that's the only possible explanation. Unless there is some truth. You knew E.T. better than any of us. Do you honestly think he was banging around with pirates? <laughs> How crazy does that sound? Mm. He was moonlighting for Robson One. They had shonky safety procedures. We arrived too late. It was a horrible, horrible accident. That's all. I need to get some sleep. <laughs> That's a very good idea. <clears throat> following you if I was here first. Celery? No thanks, don't need any of your rabbit food. I'd make myself a sandwich. Bad time to be lighting up on carbs, charge. Off. Can't sleep, I need food. You just need to guts it out till your stomach shrinks, then it'll get a whole lot easier. Really? How long? One week. Maybe two. No, skinny people don't live longer. They just imagine they do because every minute they're hungry and miserable. I'll see you at 0600 for a workout, big boy.
was. There is a god. Right, I mate. Drop. Give me 20. One. Breathing out on your way up. Two. How much you got riding on me, Buffer? Come on. How much? 50. Only 50. Oh, a year of little faith. I'm braver than most. Listen. I'm back here, brother. Huh? Yeah. Thanks, Miss Go. Get into it. I want to smash it. Breathing out on your way up. Buffer charge! Her raft's gone! It's gone! I'll let the boss know. I'll organise the search of the boat. So, so it seems she's taken a rope, a tarpaulin and a life jacket. We don't know what time she launched. When was she last seen? Uh, I know that Bomber looked in on her just after 10, so she probably waited until things went quiet and launched just after midnight. Sir, I'm sorry to interrupt. Um, I've just been informed by Navcom that Belinda and Frank Lloyd are officially listed as missing at sea. They were on an ocean kayaking trip to East Timor. Didn't you check this now? I did, but I only looked at recent recordings in the last three weeks. How old is this? Three months. Three months. I think the fact that she survived it all is incredible in itself. This is the predicted search area. That's huge. We transited close to Penfold Island at around 0130. She said she had proof on one of those islands. Exactly. Let's start there. Agreed? Agreed. Okay, nav set course for Penfold Island. Row send these search coordinates to Coast Watch. Request aerial assistance. They'll have a much better chance of spotting her if she's still at sea. Altering 010. Coast Watch, this is Hammersleaf transmitting last known coordinates of missing survivor Belinda Lloyd as requested. We're currently en route to Penfold Island to continue our search on land. Over. You OK? Did I drive her to do this? No. Should have just kept my big mouth shut. Nav, I was the one that told her we were heading back to port. And then I was on watch when she left the ship. If it's anyone's fault, it's mine. Three months. She could have seen E.T. It's feasible. Feasible? Why am I? Or he was diving in the area. Nav. Swain, I know that she's confused. I know. But what if there is some shred of truth in all of this? Such as what? What if E.T. and his group were attacked by pirates also? Then there would have been evidence of an attack. Nikki, there just wasn't. This is the X, shore party to the boat deck. Shore party to the boat deck. We'll cover more ground if we split up. Bravo party. Buffer and Spider up that way. Sierra party, Swain and Two Dads that way. X-ray party. Bomber with me. Make sure you stay in contact. Linda! This is crazy, Buff. We haven't even found her raft. How do we know she's even on this island? Linda! I was in the middle of a great movie, but no. Psycho woman decides to jump off the boat. Linda! Ah. Why would you jump off a perfectly good boat? Nuts! Yeah, well, she believed her husband needed her. What was she hoping to do? Let's face it, mate, she wasn't exactly thinking straight. Linda! Linda! I don't get it, X. How do you think she'd be able to get back to the island? The currents, maybe. Hey, Bomber. Yeah, this must be the place. Do you reckon she's come back? I don't know. Belinda! Belinda! Maybe not. 
You know, Belinda said that she was camping on this island, right? Yeah. But she told Swain that there were some photos. Probably just her imagination, X. You know, let's just say for a minute that it is real. If you had some evidence that you wanted to stash, where would you put it? Um, probably bury it. Maybe. But if there was a chance that you weren't coming back yourself, <laughs> you'd have to find somewhere a little more obvious. X. What's that? Passports, money, wedding rings, and a memory card. Her proof. Bravo, Sierra. We have found a camera memory card. We're taking it back to Hammersley to have a look. You keep searching for Mrs. Lloyd. Yeah, Roger that, X. They're all still images, JPEG files. I opened the most recent one first. There, three months ago. That one. My God. Look at the date on it. The day before we found him. We have to find her, make her explain this. We're doing everything we can, Neff. He looks so happy. If you didn't want to be found in here, you would not be found, I tell you. She could be five foot from us and we wouldn't have a clue. Let's give it ten more minutes, then we'll head back to the beach, okay? Here, all right? Let's head up to the ridge and take one last look, yeah? Yeah, okay. Belinda! This is Lloyd! Belinda! 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 Copy. Lost buffer. You what? Well, I went up the ridge and now I can't find him. You sure it was here? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think. Buff! Buff! Bravo, Mrs. Sierra. Do you got a copy over? Buff, it's Swaino. Do you read me over? Buff! The par 8 2, this is Sierra. We can't reach Buffer on his Motorola and Spider's lost contact with him over. Sir, we seem to have lost our buffer. Buffer! Bravo, Mrs. Sierra. Do you got a copy over? Buff, it's Swaino. Do you read me over? Hey, guys. This wasn't like this before. What do you mean? It looks like it slipped away. Swaino. 
Side of this hill's unstable. Buffer! Oh, Alright, this is Sierra. Uh, looks like there's been a landslide and we think Buffer might be caught underneath. We need men and digging equipment up here now. Over. Copy that, Swain. Over. X charge. Get a rescue team over yes, there sir. now. Charge, you're the leader. I'm trapped inside some underground oil storage tank, not receiving any transmission. And I've got a horrible feeling I'm talking to myself right now. But I know you guys are looking for me. Yeah, buffer out. The land slid down here. We think he's under here somewhere, but stuff if we can find him. All right, grab yourselves a drink. This is what I want. Everyone spread out, working groups of two and in rotation. Here. Charge on with you. Yep. Bye bye. Charge, have a break. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Oh. Hear that? Oh, stop, 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 Chad, stop. It feels like it's coming from underground. Well, whatever it is, you can bet it's not good. <laughs> Keep going! <laughs> We have to rethink this. We're not getting anywhere. We are just digging out the side of the hill. I know. But he's here. And I'm not going home without him. Oh. What, the, what the hell is that? Sounds metallic. coming from down there. Everyone, just spread out. Keep your ears open. It's coming from over here. What the hell is this? He's in there. He's in there. Come on, let's go. Watch out, watch out. Here! Uh, two, three! Uh, uh, 
the next we found him. Stand by. Buff! 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 Buff, you okay? Is he all right? Come on, Buff. Come on. Bex, what's Buffer's condition? Swain's checking him now, sir. I can't feel a pulse. Come on! Come on, Buff! Oh, God. 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 Oh, I take it there's still been no sign of Belinda Lloyd, over? No, sir. OK, return to the ship and we'll resume a sea search. Out. Copy that. Out. Now start plotting a search pattern. Yes, sir. Hey, this fumes affecting your breathing? <clears throat> no, I'm all right, mate. Just a bit itchy, that's all. Well, it's just crude oil's <clears throat> acidic, mate. Well, we've got most of it off, but when we get back on the ship, you've got to wash it. You've got to get it all off. Righto. Charge. The camo net. X. What's that? Well, that's your old World War II pipe that's heading inland to that storage tank. What's this then? Is that new? Yeah. And it's headed out to sea. There's another one. Well, where's it going? I don't know. Belinda Lloyd said she saw coils of pipe on the deck of the pirate vessel. She did. It seems like Belinda was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Oh, Ma'am, can you get the rest of that oil off him as soon as possible? Let's go. Charge, make it as it was. Aye, man. Spike, give me a hand. Look out, close up, four, and aft. Continue sea search. What are these? Is that a true question, Buff? Found them in charge's rack. <sighs> charge. No, you. If I catch you pulling a stunt like this again, Bomber will be making you special meals, ones you can eat through a straw. Ah, oh, Buff, come Look, on. I'm serious. Oh, so it's OK for you to win the bet by doing your little personal trainer, Jag, but if I show a little bit of initiative... Bet's off. Bet's off. Is there a problem? No, X. No, X. Good. Buffer, there'll be a meeting in the ship's office in five minutes. You might want to put some clothes on. Yes, ma'am. According to NAVCOM, the pipeline from the Red Reef into oil fields runs right past Penfold Island on its way to Darwin. The Red Reef Consortium have said that they definitely don't have any storage facility on the island. Sounds like someone's tapping into the main pipeline, skimming off their oil. That's what it looks like. In today's prices, even 1% would mean millions of dollars. Anyway, the Federal Police will continue investigating this matter. Our main priority right now is to locate Belinda Lloyd. So it's reasonable to say that she and her husband saw the people who were behind this, and that's why they were attacked? Yes, that now seems highly likely. What if E.T. saw them too? What if his death was not an accident? No. Nah. E.T. was murdered. Belinda Lloyd is our best chance of identifying his killers. Coast Watch has spotted the raft. We're the closest asset. Let's go. Eversley, this is Coast Watch. We have a visual of coordinates 12 degrees 20 south, 125 degrees 33 east. Nothing. Bro, are you sure of those coordinates? For the third time, Nav, they're the coordinates that Coast Watch gave me. Have you allowed for current and wind? 
I'm not stupid. Buffer, take over the Ewan. X, I'm sorry, sir. Now, please, Buffer. No. Nicky, go and get a brew. I don't need anything, sir. It's not a suggestion. Go and get a brew. Seaboat. Hamza learning soon in Dixon. There's a good chance that whoever was on the boat that attacked the Lloyds will be known to police, yes? I guess so. Lloyd! Yep. Belinda! If they have a record, then there'll be a photo on file and Belinda will be able to identify them. Let's just get her back on board safely. We'll take it one step at a time, okay? Mrs. Lloyd! Here's Belinda. No, boss, she's not on it. It's fine. She, uh, she stole the life jacket. Yeah. She's still out here. She's alive. She's alive. She's alive. She's alive! These are wrong. What's it say? They're wrong. Charge. That I put on point two of a kilo. Well, what do you expect after scoffing a whole packet of tin tams? How do you know about the Tim Tams? I'm your personal trainer. I know everything that passes those lips. Well, now you just start to scare me. Charge, you've got to be realistic, OK? You can't expect to have lost kilos already. Sorry, but just before adopting that tone, can you remember how dark it was in that tank until Fat Boy here got you out? Yeah, all right, OK. You're my hero. You saved my bacon. Oh, kill for a nice piece of crisp bacon. A couple of fried eggs. Toast. Lashings of butter. Not on my watch, mate. If you saw how much sweat I left in that jungle. A couple of glasses of water, you'll put that straight back on. Yeah, I know that. I just thought, combined with today's efforts... Charge, muscle weighs more than fat, right? As we train, you're building muscle, so you're bound to put on a couple of kilos. That's to be expected. Maybe I should just get the gastric damning surgery be done with it. Charge, you are not that fat! And I hope to God you are not that desperate. Well, I'm starting to get pretty desperate, mate. I don't want to leave this team. You are not leaving the team. We're going to win this one, right? Yeah. You're preparing his food. Where's the gamble? Come on, Bomber. It's a sure thing. How many times do I have to tell you I'm not interested? 20 bucks. No. Don't be such a piker, Bomber. Where's the spirit that made this country great? Where? What's that? Where? Body in the water, 10 degrees starboard. No, she's gone. Please, <laughs> no. know about the pipeline and the oil theft they will be caught but not for murder ET did not stuff up he was way too experienced 
I know he was not responsible for those other divers' deaths. But without proof, everyone will still believe that he was to blame. Kate, no one believes me that he was murdered. Nobody believes me. I believe you. Okay, Hammersley. I've just dropped off the army lookout. He's making camp near the oil tank. There's no sign of anyone else on the island. The trap's all set. Good luck. Over and out. I just hate waiting to spring a trap, you know. Rather be proactive. Well, don't you worry, we're going to kick some heads. So as the oil thieves turn up for the black stuff, Nav. They're not just oil thieves. They killed E.T. Well, if that's the case, we a patrol boat to the north and the east. There's no way through our net. Lookout 1, this is Charlie 82. How are things on the island, Terry? Lookout 1, this is Charlie 82. What's the situation with the oil? Over. Yeah, good day, Mike. Just done a wreck of the tank. Set reps unchanged, still full of bursting. Our radar's clear as a bell. How's your horizon? Oh, blue sky, mate. I'm gonna head back to camp. Make myself a cuppa. Check in with you next hour. Righto, Terry. Out. Lookout one, Hammersley. Do you copy over? Go again. Lookout one, Hammersley. Radio check. Over. Sir, our sentry hasn't reported in this hour. He's 25 minutes adrift. Try him again. Lookout one, this is HMAS Hammersley. Do you copy? Over. OK, X, take a shore party. Get in there, find out what's happening and get out. If this operation's going to work, we need to maintain the element of surprise. OK, come with us, please. OK, this way. Stay here, bomber. Swain, take the lead. Buffo, stay back. Still warm, man. Captain Six. Go ahead, X. We've arrived at the camp. There is no sign of the lookout. The stove's still warm, so I'm hoping that it's not too far away. Bab. That explains why he missed his check in. X. Up. Huh? What is it? That. Oh my God. Sir, we found him. He's dead. His head's been caved in with a rock, sir. We spoke to him just over an hour ago, so whoever did this is likely to be still on the island, sir. And they'll know you're there too, X. OK, we've got two hours of daylight left. Set up search teams. And we'll also need to know if that oil's been touched. Over. Copy that, boss. Out. OK, Swain, with me, we'll head west to the highest point of the island. We'll take a look. Buffer, take Spider. We head east. Check out the underground tank on the way, yeah? Let's go. Sam? Ro, um, head down to the beach. Do a recce of the coastline with Bomber. Just secure him first. Stay in contact.
Hey, buffer? What's your position? I think we're heading towards the northeast corner. Oil's all there, hasn't been touched. We're sweeping around now to meet up with you, Al. Uh? Looks like someone's made a sharp left break here. Through there. He doesn't have a gun. How do you know that? We would have used it on Terry instead of the rock. The Australian Navy, I want you to come out with both your hands where we can see them. Swain, South, cut him off. Hey! Buffer, Buffer, do you copy? Go ahead. We're in pursuit of a man in a red jacket. Swain is trying to come around and get him. We're about 200 metres from your position. Yeah, Roger that. They're hurting him this way. You head north. He didn't come through here. Must be further north. Spider, do you copy? Spider, do you copy? What happened? Don't know. Spider? Spider! Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, Spot. I'm all right. I'm all right. Hey, which way did he go? Uh, I, I didn't see, ma'am. He just came out of nowhere and uh, uh, whacked me with a branch. X, it's going to be dark in an hour. The only way out of here is via the water. Now, he must have a boat concealed here somewhere. So oh. uh, we'll set up a cordon between the Hammersley and the ribs. We'll catch him on the water, yeah? Shelly at two, this is X-ray at two. How's the noggin, spider? It's all right. ETA to the rib X. So we're heading towards the beach now. No way. The tide calculations are correct. The problem is the area around Penfold Island hasn't been surveyed in 20 years, which means... All the coral's grown. All the coral's grown. X, we're not going to be able to get the second rib to you. It's getting dark. And the coastline's inaccessible, over. Looks like we're stuck here till the tide turns, then. Yeah. Afraid so. Right, I was staying the night. What, just the six of us? Well, seven if you include him. Eight of us, Aro. Just remember there's eight of us on this island. How's he doing? Pupils equal and reactive. My vision keeps on going in and out, though, Swaino. No, you're in the best of hands, mate. Bro, what are you doing? Well, at least we're not going to go hungry. Look, baked beans, bottled water. Do you not feel a little bit strange about eating Terry's supplies so soon after? He, he's not going to use it, ma'am. It's not like he's going to get hungry. He doesn't need it where he's going. There's a wind sheeter if anyone's cold. Ah, keys. No, these are his personal items. If you're not going to wear it, it, it is cold. Can I put it on?
Mastering my googly? Half the crew are chasing down a murderer and the other half are busy keeping this ship running and you're playing cricket? I'm practicing. To play, you technically need two people. I need a power socket fixed in my cabin. I think it has something to do with the wiring. You're the electronics technician on board this ship, aren't you? The one and only. Well, the dodgy socket is running my fish tank and I need it fixed ASAP. And clean this up. What is it? Just a feeling. You guys try and get some rest, won't I, and I'll take the first watch. I don't think anyone's going to get much sleep tonight. Looks pretty lonely. Cooped up in his glass bowl. Dreaming of all those sexy Nemoettes. Can you fix the wiring? You know, I know how he feels. I'm cooped up in this tin can. At least I get shore leave every now and then to expand my horizons. Poor little Nemo. That's You know, that fishbowl is his entire universe. Two dads. Righto. Hold on. Yep, I found the problem. A couple of wires look stripped. Do we need to turn off the mains? Yeah, we'll do that, but first I got it. Just let me... <laughs> Oh, get water. It's gonna be sea water! Come on. Yep. He's not moving. The water's too cold. Yes, he is. Come on. Yes, he is. Look. Look, look. Oh, thank God. Oh, a lot of drama over nothing, eh? <laughs> nothing. You smashed his home. It was an accident. He didn't like that ball anyway. Well, I can't keep him in an ice cream container. So? Let him go. If you ask me, it's pretty heartless keeping an ocean fish in a tiny ball like that. I can't let him go. E.T. gave me this fish. It's almost midnight. Yeah, looking forward to the sun coming up. How's he going? Yeah, sleeping like a big baby. And snoring like an old man. <laughs> Buffer, you take Swain and check it out. Well, arm up, stay alert. So be careful. Yeah, exits to jerry cans that have been set alight. We're searching the area now, over. Copy that. Did you hear that? We've had a second explosion to the east. I want you to maintain your position. I'm going to send bomber and row. Roger that. Spider. Spider. It's another burning jerry can, man. Looks like it's been lit with some kind of fuse. To delay the detonation. Diversion. X, we're returning to your position immediately. Over. But for why? What, what's going on? This is a diversion or a repeat. It's a diversion. Next. Next. Ah! XO, do you copy me? What's going on, Buff? There's something wrong.
Man, you all right? I'm okay. Are you okay? It was Fulton. What? Campbell Fulton. He is the murderer. X-ray A2, this is Charlie A2, over. This is X-ray A2, go ahead. X, what's your current position, over? So we're doing a recce along the north coast, looking for any sign of Fulton, over. X, looks like it could be a jet ski. Like he hid it under all of this? The backpack that he grabbed, it had a set of keys in it. I thought it belonged to the lookout. Oh, it must have been Fulton's. Yeah, boss, looks like Fulton's left the island Let's on go. a jet ski. Over. Coming back to you now. If Campbell Fulton's in on this oil heist, Andy was in charge of the Robson's dive team. Oh, they're in it together. So much for diving for coral and tropical fish. It's a good cover. It gives them license to move about the oil field without detection. Uh, with the feds now on Pedfold, there's no way they'll get their oil. I'm betting Fulton's on his way to rendezvous with them. I've spoken to Coast Watch, they've got a plane in the air. As soon as we get the Robson's location, we'll be underway. Hammersley, this is Border Police 5. We're approaching Penfold Island to take up surveillance over the oil tank. Over. Roger that, Border Police 5. Good luck. Hammersley out. Contact bearing 270, range 7 miles. See if we can get a visual on the eod. That's a Robson's boat bus. Row, inform Robson 1 we'll be boarding them. Yes, sir. I'll be leading this one exit. Yes, sir. Robson 1, this is Australia warship Hammersley. I'm ordering you and to stop boarding or stations. Do we intend to board you? Buff uh, spider, yeah. start the search forward yeah, camp. What's going on here, eh? Swaino, secure Mr. and Mrs. Robson in the saloon. Crew out here. Yes, sir. Please make your way inside, take a seat. Stay there, please, folks. Join the crew down the stairs, please, sir. Any sign of Fulton? No, sir. Spider? No sign, boss. No sign, boss. No. Where's Campbell Fulton? Wouldn't have a clue. Campbell doesn't work for us anymore. Since when? Since a few weeks ago. We caught him pilfering through our stock. We had to let him go. Look, Captain, are you going to tell us what this is all about? Campbell Fulton's suspected of murdering a lookout on Penfold Island. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm afraid so. I can't imagine Campbell would be capable of murder. We also believe he's involved in an oil skimming operation. What do you mean, oil skimming? And it's only a matter of time until we find him, crack the whole thing wide open. So if you come across him, or he tries to make contact with you... Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. let you know. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks. I'd appreciate that. Let's go. Sorry for the inconvenience. Yeah, it's not a problem. Robson's vessel is on a heading of 270, speed 6 knots. All right, well, they're hardly making a break for it. Right. Tune into channel 19 on the VHF. Let me know the instant you hear anything. Sir? Nav, let the Robsons get just over the horizon, then continue to shadow them. Yes, sir. Sir? You've got to get to Fulton. He's too big a risk. Where is he? That's Matt Robson. I think he's below turning the valve on. I don't want Fulton coming up from there. Do you understand? OK. I'm onto it. HMAS Hamsley leading Seaman Dixon. Uh, yes, sir. Sir, Commander Marshall. Mike Flynn, sir. Mike, I've just been alerted by the AFP that the oil on Penfold Island's disappearing from the tank there. Disappearing? I don't understand. Yeah, you and me both. Well, how the hell are they doing that? 
Well, I thought you could tell me. I mean, there are no vessels in the vicinity, but, but the feds are adamant that the oil level is dropping. Oh, I've no idea, sir. Wait a minute. The valve. What do you mean? What, what valve? Uh, sir, just... I'll get back to you in 10. Mike? The oil from Penfold Island is disappearing. How the hell can they be moving the oil without us having noticed? Look, here's the main pipe, here's the island. The smugglers have run a pipe from here to here. If they're pumping oil out of that tank, they're running another pipe off the one they've already laid. Exactly, with a valve on it. And they run that pipe to something capable of pumping oil. But where is the valve? Well, it has to be somewhere near the Robson's diving activity. Red Reef. Nav set a course for Red Reef? Yes, sir. The Robsons are sending someone to kill Fulton. We have to get there first. I'll alert Navcom. Contact bearing 320. It could be Fulton's dive tender. That's Fulton, all right. No sign of any other boats. X. Hands to boarding stations, hands to boarding stations, four man boarding party. That's got to be Fulton's jet ski. Stay alert. Roger. Ma'am! Ma'am! Okay, we've got an air hose in the water. Okay, sir, he must still be on the dive standby. Give it a good jerk, make sure he gets a message. No, nah, no response. It's fine. Is this normal? Ma'am, those gauges are in the red. Someone's beaten us to him. Uh, sir, the gas mixture has been tampered right, with, over. There. Let's get him up! We may be too late. Get him up here. Oh, good. It works fine, I. Here he comes. Great. Done. Smoke Buff, you can take breath. Roger. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. <coughs> One, two, three. <coughs> All right, we're going to put some oxygen on you. Just breathe it. It's trying to kill me. Breathe it in, uh, okay? Just breathe it in. Oh. What's his condition? Oh. Yeah, he'll live. Just lie oh. down. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh. Why are we diving down there, Fulton? Were you trying to get oil out of the Penfold Island tank? Can you understand what I'm asking? Yeah, I reckon he understands you perfectly. Answer him! Where's the oil being pumped to? We just saved your life, mate! The Robsons just tried to kill you. No point trying to protect them. Make a deal. No deals. And it'll go a lot worse for you if you don't cooperate. Now, where the hell's the oil being pumped to? Where's it being pumped to? The tank is being warned off. The Robsons are taking that by road. By road? Where from? Fish farm. <coughs> Blast the cup into the rack. <coughs> <coughs> Okay. According to Fulton, this is the harbour. It's a straight line from the valve to this part of the coastline. It's deep enough for a tanker to have pulled in. Ro, get me a satellite image of this area. Yes, There's sir. no fish farm marked on the chart, though. Excuse me. Push in there. Pondages. It's an isolated enough area. Prawn farm. There's our fish farm. Prawns need salt water and lots of it. Any inland based farm needs equipment to pump it in. Pumping station.
almost had me. Tanker trucks will be here in an hour. It's going to be dark in an hour. The road in's dodgy. They can't get here any quicker. We pay them to be hey, on time. Matt, Fulton's taken care of. We've bought ourselves some breathing space. It's only a matter of time until the Navy map the pipeline to here. And by the time they get here, we're going to be long gone. Let's pack the gear up. Now we know who's wearing the pants, boss. All right, guys, listen up. We watch, we wait, we do not engage. We leave that to the police. Buffer and I will hold here. X, you and Swain, south flank. Spider, two dads, find a concealed position near the beach road. Go. Row and Bomber, I want you on the east side of the farm, near the pumping station. Get as much video evidence as you can. Let's go. Right above. You do. He'll get his now. He'll get his. Oh, help me! Help me! Somebody! Help me, please! Help me! Please! Oh, I need more than oxygen. Gas poisoning will do that to you. No, 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 it's not gas. I think I got the bins. I need more than oxygen. Please. Tell me how he teed died. You did it, didn't you? Oxygen, Nikki, please. Did E.T. know what he was doing? No. No, I didn't have a clue. And why did he die? Why did he die? Because I recognised him. I told the Robsters he was Navy. They went ballistic and ordered all the divers killed as a security measure. Oh. So you killed them all, including E.T.? I did what I was told. They would have killed me otherwise. Please, please, just give me the oxygen. How did you do it? How? How did you kill him? I altered the gas mixture when they were on a dive. Hammersley charge. Yes. Commander Marshall, the for sure party are on their way. I've answered your questions now, the oxygen, please. Please, I am begging you! Please! <laughs> the Fed's new ETA to the farm is zero, one, Three, zero. I want a rib in the water and I want a set of keys to drive. Got it. Sir, I will pass that on to the CO ASAP. Out. Just say it, Nick. Here we go. Carry on the sea boat. Roger. Good girl, good girl. You're not gonna get to the prawn farm in time to warn the Robsons. What makes you think I'm going to the farm? The Robsons could rot in hell for all I care. This time next week, I'll be on a beach somewhere drinking my tires and getting $2 massages. I'll take you with me, Nicky. I don't think we've got much of a future together. Time to go now. Here we go. <laughs>
This is Charlie A2, all positions check in, over. This is X-ray A2, sir, we are in position near the pondages, over. Tango A2, we just saw a tanker pass us, heading for the pumping station, over. Stay here. Romeo 82, do you have eyes on the tankers? Over. Bomber, row, are you filming the tanker trucks? Over. Romeo 82, radio check. X, spider. Do you have a visual on bomber and row's position? Over. That's a negative, boss. No, boss, they're on the other side of the station to us. OK, we need to regroup. Rendezvous in the southwest corner. Go, go, go. Just kidding. Matt. Shh. Where the hell did you find them? Down near the pumping station. How many of you are there? Place is surrounded. She's lying. Why haven't they overrun us? That could be a scouting party. Check it out. What are we going to do now? If they're a scouting party, it means the Navy's on the way. There's only one thing we can do. What about the shipment of oil? The deal was, if it gets too hot, we cut our losses. The trucks are here. It's going to take 20 minutes. Yeah, forget 20 minutes. it, Simone. It's all over. Get out. Go! Get him in the truck. I'm not leaving without the oil. What? Oh, for God's sake, Sam. No, we've risked too much to give up now. We have made a lot of money from this so far, OK? What's another tank of oil? A hundred grand per tanker, Maddie. Are you just going to walk away from that? No, no, I'm going to drive away from it now. Fine, you leave with them. I'm going to go with the tank. Simone! Simone! Any sign of them? No. And Spider found this on the side of the road. So we got some action over here. You two, keep your eyes on that road. I don't want those tankers going anywhere. And maintain comm silence. They could have one of our radios. X, you and Swain hold this position. Our priority is Rowan Bomber. This right, it doesn't have to end in bloodshed. Put the gun down and nobody gets hurt. Do you really want another one of your crew dead now? Get back! I just need to get out of here, all right? Go, no, where are you going? Don't go! Go! Don't make me do anything stupid now. Get back! There's nowhere to go, Matt. Put it down. Just back off and let me out. Got a shot, sir. Hold your fire, Swain. Where's X? Spider, two dead, stop the truck! Spider, he's coming! Stop the truck! Stop the truck! Simone, it is over. Shut down the oil. Shut it down. Ah! Ah! Hands up. Drop your weapon. Drop the weapon. Drop your weapon. Drop it.
okay. She went up. She went over the side. She. It's okay. You're okay. How did you do it? Well, the gas mixture went there on a dive. This will go to the feds. Well done. It's pretty bloody ironic, eh? How's Fulton? Yeah, well, he's got a busted nose courtesy of charge, nabbed Bruce's ego, so he's making a hell of a racket. Yeah, the word stuck pig come to mind. Excuse me. Anyway, I'll hand him over to the feds at first light. Good work. Nav? Campbell Fulton. And that's Matt and Robson. Handover's complete, boss. You know something, X? What? You scrub up all right. Oh, thanks. Though the crude oil's not that great for the hairdo. I have a message here from Commander Marshall at NAVCOM to the crew of HMAS Hammersley. Congratulations on your success. Once again, you've done the Navy proud. Personally, I couldn't be prouder than I am at this moment. Three months ago, we lost a shipmate, a brother. But today, we have a small measure of comfort in knowing that the people responsible for E.T.'s death will receive the justice they deserve. Now, it may not bring us closure, but it at least gives us some measure of comfort. For those of you who are moving on to new postings, it may be some time before we have the opportunity to serve together again. That's the Navy. I miss you. Strike first. It's Hammersley's motto. And as a team, that's what you've done. Every day. You are a superb team. And as a captain, I can't thank you enough. Hammersley, make ready for home. you enjoyed the Sea Patrol season final. The crew of the Hammersley will return for an action-packed new season next year. But first, there's more big event drama starting this Sunday. Go! Go! Cassie! Hello! Can you hear us? There's only six more days to go. I'm not going to leave you. Rescue Special Ops starts Sunday 8.30.